What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. WBO Super Featherweight Champion in Philadelphia Zone, Jamel Herring, will defend his title versus WBO fourth ranked contender Carl Frampton from the UK. The fight is going to take place February 27th. Now, the question that people are going to ask is where's the fight going to take place? I did a, a video, I think it was yesterday, and I told you guys that the fight is definitely happening, but it won't be happening in January, and it's going to happen in the United States. And now we got a date of February 27th, a solid date for their uh, matchup. Now, this is the third time this fight has been moved. It was originally slated to take place in December, got pushed back to January 30th. Now it's going to take place February 27th, which means it's going to go head up if they're not careful, if they don't do the uh, time, do an earlier time. It's going to go head up with Canelo Alvarez versus Avril Uderman. Avril Uderman is the number one ranked WBC mandatory contender for the super middleweight title. And as we know, Canelo Alvarez defeated Callum Smith to become the WBA super middleweight champion. Also was uh, WBC uh, super middleweight champion at middleweight. I'm about to get the uh, these alphabet suits titles mixed up by division. My bad. He's the WBA super middleweight champion. And he also holds the WBA regular version of the super middleweight title. That being Canelo Alvarez. And he'll, put in, he'll be putting those titles on the line along with the WBC super middleweight title that was up for grabs when he took on Callum Smith. That was a vacant belt which was put on the line due to Jose Benavidez, my bad, David Benavidez, his brother, missing weight and getting stripped of his belt uh, in his previous fight. So that's what we're looking at. I would advise Bob Arum and Top Rank Boxing to put that fight on earlier in the day or later on in the evening to not go head up with Canelo Alvarez because their ratings will definitely suffer if they go head up with Canelo so I, I would advise them to do what they're doing uh, this Saturday with the Luke Campbell versus Ryan Garcia fight. That fight's going to take place early in the day in the United States, uh, 11 p.m. U.K. time to accommodate the U.K. boxing fans. So it'll be on around 6 o'clock Eastern time here in the United States, 5 o'clock Central time. I advise them to do the same thing with this fight with Jamel Herring versus Carl Frampton to accommodate the U.K. fans and to avoid going head up with Canelo Alvarez versus Avril Uniman with a, a fight that's going to take place in Galahara, Mexico, the birthplace of the guy that's number two on my pound-for-pound pound list, Canelo Alvarez, who's number one in the pay-for-view pound-for-pound list, but number two on the actual pound-for-pound pound list behind Terrence Bud Crawford. So you got it here first. You heard it here first. And you got the news here first that the fight's going to take place February 27th. In the United States of America. The front runner venue I'm hearing is the Las Vegas bubble. If they've had several top ranked boxing cars at the Las Vegas bubble, that's the Las Vegas MGM Conference Center. That was the same location of the Vasily Lomachenko versus Teofimo Lopez matchup. That was the same location of the Kell Brook versus Terrence Bud Crawford matchup. And that's been the main venue since top ranked boxing started up their boxing cars after the spread of coronavirus. So we'll see what happens and we will see what transpires, but that's the date, everybody. And we'll see what happens. Jamil Heron is from Philadelphia. That's a city that's known to produce great champions. Jo Smoking Joe Frazier is at the top of the list. And right there behind him is the execution of Bernard Hopkins. You got Danny Garcia from there. And Jamil Heron is another champion that has, has hold the world title along with those three guys, and he'll be looking to uh, further his legacy and, and make a claim that you can do great things in the middle to latter part of your career. A guy with two losses but seems to be getting better and better, except for the last fight he did. This previous fight, there was a lackluster performance, but before then, he was looking very good. If he can get back to fighting like he fought, Previous to that last fight, which was a lackluster performance, maybe he was looking ahead to the Carl Frampton fight and the guy he was fighting he had no respect for. But if he can get back to the fighter that was fighting before that last fight 
He's a guy that's going to defeat Carl Frampton, and I think he's going to beat him in dominating fashion, and that will set up a matchup between him and Shakur Stevenson, and that will be a, a intriguing and an interesting matchup if we see the Jameer Heron that we've seen before the last fight. So we'll see what happens, and we will see what transpires. Again, uh, Heron is trained by Bo Mack, Ryan McIntyre. That's the trainer of Terrence Bud Crawford. So they'll be looking to implement a plan to uh, come out victorious over Carl Frampton, and they'll be looking to implement a plan to take on the WBO mandatory contender, Shakur Stevenson, who's sitting there at 15-0 and, and who everybody thinks is the next Floyd Mayweather, a guy that knows how to get hit. A guy that knows how to get hit, know how to, how to know, knowing how to hit and not get hit, and doing that at the highest level in boxing as we stand here today. So we will see what happens, and we will definitely see what transpires. Let me know your thoughts and leave comments in the comment section about this matchup. Do you like this matchup, and who you got winning this fight between Jamel Harrington versus Carl Frampton? Carl Frampton is a little bit shop-worn, if you ask me. I think he's seen his better days. He's been in a lot of wars. Joe, Joe, Josh Warrington war. Well, Josh Warrington pulled the upset, and he took a lot of punishment in that fight. Lost that fight in a convincing fashion. His last, he says, I don't think he's been the same fighter since the first Leo Santa Cruz fight when he put on a brilliant performance and pulled a small upset. Not a big, but a small upset over Leo Santa Cruz. In the rematch, Leo Santa Cruz made the adjustment, started using his height and reach advantage a little bit better and was able to beat Carl Frampton via unanimous decision. Carl Frampton hasn't been the same since the first Santa Cruz fight, in my opinion. Still a decent fighter, still a dangerous fighter, still a fighter that needs to be respected by Jamil Heron. But if Jamil Heron that shows up, that fought his last fight, then Carl Frampton has a chance to uh, pull the upset. But if Jamil Heron that show, that's been fighting previous to his last fight and has been looking much improved since early in his career shows up, I think he has an excellent chance to defeat Carl Frampton by using the jab, using his reach advantage, and basically uh, using his technical skills to uh, overwhelm and uh, dismount a very crafty, but in my opinion, shop worn Carl Frampton. Let me know your thoughts about this particular matchup and the date that they're working with, February 27th, going head up with Canelo versus Yerdeman. Let me know your thoughts, who you got in this fight, and uh, let me know what you think about this matchup and this fight uh, not happening in the UK and happening in the United States in the Las Vegas Conference Center. The Las Vegas MGM Conference Center being the front runner to host the fight. Let me know your thoughts. This is JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. I holla.